those are things that, you know, certain things was like expected of the box office and certain things were kind of just like a, you know, no brainer and certain things were a surprise. Like The Grudge making it into the top five. And yeah, so for those who don't know, if this is your first time listening to it and my podcast or whatnot, and you just, you just don't know about like the movies, why they drop, why where they drop at throughout the year and stuff. Um, points of the year are kind of like determined as dead spots, which is January and February. Not for every movie, because there are movies that have came out toward the beginning of the year, the first quarter or whatever. And like, I mean, exactly in the beginning of the first quarter and actually did good. Deadpool was one of them. Uh, I can't really bring up too many of them. Uh, Black Panther. Black Panther is another one. But there are, you know, occasionally some films, one or two films within the first three months that will basically, you know, actually do good. But for the most part, a lot of people, well, a lot of film, like studios will drop, like the movies that they don't really have too much faith in within those couple months. And maybe within September. September is when, you know, the big blockbuster time calms down. So they'll drop, Kind of like it'll be a dead zone, drop the movies that they don't really have too much faith in, either that or drop um, Oscar type movies that will be closer to Oscar season and everything else. So that one is kind of a mix in between those. And the first movie to come out this year is The Grudge 2020 remake, reboot, whatever you want to call it. I, I'm, I'm, I don't even know. It they say it connects to the uh Sarah Michelle Geller one that came out in I believe like I don't even remember. Uh it came out in the 2000s and it, it it's like does it really connect cuz it takes place around that same time or is this really like a reboot or is a soft reboot where it connects but at the same time does it acknowledge that it connects but just establish it like if we don't say that it connects people are just going to believe that it's a remake or reboot, or whatever the hell, but it does connect, just in case we want to do something later on, so I don't know, it's whatever, but um, it really shows, this movie, it, it, that it belongs in the first quarter, and within the first couple months, and it, it's, I don't know what it could say, I mean, I don't know, I've been going on, and thinking about these years, where like, Two of the reviewers that I, you know, pay attention to a lot and that, you know, really kind of got me into reviewing movies and talking about movies and everything else. One of them, Chris Stuckman, the other one is John Campion. And both of them just kind of like took the reins of not doing the worst of, you know, the year and everything else. And I've been kind of contemplating that. Like, I mean, I'm still going to do a worst of the 2019, but will I do it for next for like this year, you know? And it just kind of got me feeling bad because me as a person that talks about movies, I do eventually want to go from talking about movies to actually making movies, making, you know, projects and everything else. And I do have a project lined up this year. I'll Once I get more closer to it, I will let you guys know a little bit about it or whatever. But I do want to get more into that. And I feel like if I get more into that, bashing movies and everything else will become less of a commonplace because it's like you know you know when you bash movies and you make a mistake then it's like you bash this movie for doing that but then you do the same thing so hey it's whatever but i feel like with the movies this year i might make a change to where like if i review a bad movie of course i'm going to review it but at the same time may give tidbits on what I may have would have done to make it better or, you know, just what could have been done to make it better. Just kind of like not bash it, but just talk about it did all of this wrong. Maybe if it did this and blah, blah, blah. And basically just kind of like, you know, help it out, like constructive criticism of that type of system. I don't know. I don't know. But whatever the case is, this movie deserves to be in the beginning of the year. The first movie, it deserves that because this movie was just bad. And I was surprised that they even made it within the top five. That was the big surprise to me because I didn't even think with like getting closer to it. I have a friend that went to go see it after I saw it. 
And she said she didn't even know that the movie was, like, out. She didn't know anything about the movie until the day that she went to go see it. And she was like, oh, okay, let me go see this. And I'm just like, wow. And then John Campion talked about it, you know. And it was just like, I wonder how many people did know or did not know that this movie was coming out. So if it wasn't a lot of people knowing about this movie coming out, making it into the top five, yeah, it was a surprise. And I just want to let people know, save your money. Truly just save your money. Hey, hey, before you guys leave, make sure you hit that like button as well as that subscribe button. And you see that little bell? Make sure you hit that to turn on your notifications. That way you'll be notified for anything that appears on my channel. Hope to see you guys next time. Peace out.